Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yogi, oh, welcome to Daily Discipline. Hey, it's Rob. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back like for reals. Hey, I'm recording this on a Sunday morning. Just a beautiful Sunday morning. And um, just so much to be thankful for. And I wanted to share this thought with you. It's this. There are angels amongst us. I remember a couple years ago, I posted a Daily Discipline. Somebody reached out to me. I'm like, hey, you shouldn't talk about stuff like that. You know, people are gonna think, what if somebody from work? And I, and you know, it's like, but that that's what I believe, right? Like that's I've seen things happen. Like I've in my life, I've had people that I don't know bring something to me. I'm like, oh my gosh, you like you're a messenger, right? Like, and sometimes it goes like the next level to where they're an angel, like they're shining. Uh, it's it's intense, right? It's intense, but it's also awesome, right? And so uh, yesterday it happened twice in one day, right? So uh, Queen and I are headed down to Tulsa yesterday morning and uh, you know, cause I'm getting a facial. So she takes me to this place. The name of the salon is Hobbs. Like I can't explain to you, like the, it's, it's, if, you, if you know the Queen and you have the conversation with her, she'll tell you about my reaction because I was like, oh my gosh, I whip out my phone, I open up my um, my music on my, my Apple Music and show her that I have a playlist named Hobbs based off of a character that Robert Redford plays in the movie The Natural, one of my favorite movies of all time. That there's this, there's a couple times where he says, all I ever wanted was to be the best. So that when I walk down the road, people would say, hey, there goes Roy Hobbs, the greatest there ever was. And it just stuck with me. I'm like, what a great... Like, if you're going to do something, don't you want to go? Like, shouldn't you try to be the best there ever was? You just have to find something you believe in, right? So anyway, I went in there, eyes wide open. I'm like, man, this is going to be interesting. And a lady comes out and gets me. We go in the course of the conversation. She puts two and two together because I was supposed to go a few weeks ago, but I had to cancel because I had my first dance recital for Dancing with the Stars. So, you know, the queen had told her about that. So as soon as we start chatting, she's like, oh my gosh, that's right, blah, blah, blah. And she's like, and I've been thinking, I want to do something. And I was like, I, I mean, I didn't even ask, right? She leads in with, you know, we, we've, we want to do this for you. We want to do that for you, all this stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, right? Like I knew when I walked in here that if I was open to something special happening, something special might happen. This exceeded my expectations. Like I couldn't even talk. She's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, just give me a minute because this is a little overwhelming, even to me. And I'm a believer. I believe that there are angels. I believe that these things happen, right? Like I don't need a naysayer to be like, oh, that's not, I'm like, you don't know. Who made you God, right? Uh, so anyway, that was just super intense and awesome. And I got a great facial and we got a plan to make sure that I look amazing for dancing with the stars or at least my skin. Um, so then the queen picks me up, we go grab some lunch. I tell her all about it. Again, I, like I'm so emotional at that time. Like it's hard for me to talk about. I just kept getting, because like her words inspired me to like do like a bunch of different stuff that I hadn't even thought about before. It's like, holy cow, that, that lady was definitely an angel. And if you ask her, she'd be like, no, I'm just a regular person. Cause that's how it works, right? Like this thought of angels, you know, people with wings, like, no, it's us. We answer the call, we channel that, that goodness, right? And it doesn't come overnight. You have to be the kind of person that spews goodness all the time, right? Talk about, you know, focus on the positive, focus on the great things in your life. And she answered the call and just blew me away. We then got in the car, we're driving back. All of a sudden my boy Hardy shows up on the radio. We had gone and seen him Thursday night up in Wichita and he talked about how he had a new song coming out on, on Friday. Didn't listen to it, right? Um, and then Saturday, we're driving back and I hear it. Man, this song is, whew, boy, had me just bawling, right? Talking about a guy answering the call, right? Saw somebody that was in a bad way, picked him up, you know, helped him out. And then, the, you know, it's a duet and the lady's saying, hey, is that person an angel? Because the angels aren't supposed to act like that. Like, what do we, what, Again, that's just another example of us as humans trying to explain away things that we can't explain, right? So it turns out Hardy's an angel too, which I had been telling my queen for a couple years that Hardy's one of my angels, right? Like, yeah, just we're not even gonna go down that path. I'm telling you there are angels amongst us. 
And that reminds me, let's just go right into our daily reminders. Number one, you must be present when if you if you've decided that you've got it all figured out and that there aren't angels, then you're not going to see them. But if you're present, you're in the moment. And when you're talking to somebody, you feel that positive energy, that desire to make the world a better place. Engage. Right. That is a real live angel right there in front of you. Number two, always be thankful. Right. Like you can't just be thankful for when the amazing part stuff, you gotta be thankful for the nonsense too. It's what gives us perspective. It hardens us. It makes us better human beings. Number three, always be humble and kind. Don't, don't go down the negative hole, right? Like it's hard, right? We've all done it. When you think about the worst parts in your life that came come from the negativity, from being the opposite of humble and kind. Always be humble and kind. Yeah, with that, we're done. Hands up, peace out, we're better together. Appreciate you stopping by. Deuces. Hashtag real talk. And remember, you can be an angel too. All you got to do, answer that call and keep it positive, baby. We'll talk to you later. See ya.